One day till a new Nassau County executive is elected and voters are focused on... The fact that we have people that are trying to represent us and are corrupt. It's hard to know who to trust. Ethics taking center stage in a county that's seen a parade of handcuffed politicians. Both Republican Jack Martins and Democrat Laura Curran promise a cleanup. All of the abuses that have taken place in the past are a thing of the past because we're going to restore law and order and checks and balances. We deserve a government that lives up to the people who live here, that is open, that is transparent, and that is not corrupt. How to achieve it? Curran wants to overhaul the contract procurement process, limit campaign contributions, create an independent inspector general. We need to make sure that we hire based on what you know, not who you know. We have to clean up the contracting process and make sure that our ethics board is not chosen by the county executive. The former state senator Martin sponsored the ballot proposal to strip pensions from corrupt officials. On the county level, he supports stronger vetting practices to prevent nepotism and conflicts of interest. He opposes a new inspector general. They want to Grow government, I say take the positions you have there already, empower them, provide them with resources and staff, and make sure they have the independence. And while both promise honesty, they accuse each other of stretching the truth. Voting for Curran is like voting to put de Blasio's corrupt team in charge of Nassau County. There is no connection to de Blasio. I don't know the guy. Uh, I'm talking about Nassau County. And from the Curran camp. First, Jack Martins is caught on an FBI wiretap with Dean Skelos. Defends him even after. After the corruption arrest, Dean Skelos was removed as majority leader within one week of his being uh, indicted. And now voters will have the last word in this expensive and close race. Democrats have a slight edge over Republicans in Nassau County, but Republicans have a history of getting out the vote. In Carl Place, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.